it guys, I mentioned Rock here, and I'm just doing a good old random vlog for you. Uh, I'm going to be getting ready to go hang out with some friends and go down to the brewery I was talking about in the live stream previously. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that today, or at least this, uh, this evening. And uh, I'll catch you guys there, or... After, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be recording. I might record some of the beer we'll be drinking. On maybe their their menu of the beers they have on inside the brewery and stuff and whatnot. And, uh, before I keep rambling on, I'll catch you guys there. That's a blueberry meat. The first one is the blue cloak. That's going to be probably our second sweetest. I would say our sweetest on is probably the Simon's Journey, just because that one has kiwi and cantaloupe notes in it. So that one's really sweet. But the blue cloak's a close runner-up with more of the darker sweetness. Again, the blueberry notes in there. Oh, that's pretty good. It helps to think of mead as a long, very similar line to actual wines because it is a honey yeah. wine. So you basically get everything from like the light, crisp notes that you expect with a white wine to some of the fruitier, uh, darker, richer notes with the redder wines. And then the ones in the middle will be very similar to like uh, uh, not a Pinot Noir, but like a white Zinfandel or something like that. Light and very, very sweet. Simon's journey, that was pretty good. Some orange blossom honey and the strawberry kiwi. Yeah. Officially the sweetest one we have on the menu. That is the Simon? The Simon, yep. Again, that kiwi and then the honey, the particularly the start this one. Put in there. Super Quick choice for me right there. Which one is this one? Simon's Journey. That one's that's too. The, they said that's the sweetest one they have on the menu. I like that. Yeah, I like this really one. Well. You know, I felt real disappointed when somebody actually this drew one's them. The, like, the, uh, this one's the... Really? That's, that's, that's the that sets the bar way too high. Yeah, I can't yeah. do that. Alright. Now I have a challenge. Yeah, a challenge has been issued. And we'll also do the phone number in there as well. I like that one. That one's pretty good too. That phone number. We'll start building those reward points. Uh, every it's a ginger, or a yeah, ginger and a crisp okay. one point right there. So tart line. Tart. All right. Well, that's a good point. Twenty dollars bill. So ginger and crisp tart line. Of course. We'll see you guys that's not time. too bad. If I don't find a better one, I'm gonna get that one. I like the spice uh, Israel. The spice Isles. That spice. one was actually inspired after watching the uh, TV show Black Sails on the, the Stars Channel. I think oh, okay. a lot of pirates. They had like. You know, Billy Bones and uh, um, the Dread Pirate. Oh uh, gosh, what was his name? Not the Dread Pirate Roberts, that's Princess Bride. Uh, Spice Isles, wasn't that one kind of loosely inspired by Black Sails? That was a very on that one. Ginger no, that's wine. my uh, my wife telling me when I Honey need to make Oh, okay. That was that was the. Uh, yeah. And this one's cheap. A Curtains to the Valkyries. Exactly. She says, you know, you're not really doing this in real life. Be right up. Yeah, no, this drink was quite strong. It's actually written in the sagas, the stories we have through verbal tradition passed down from the Viking Age, that men were known to be found dead the next morning in the snow, wearing nothing but a smile and a mead horn in their hand. So, this is definitely a drink we serve in an emphasis in moderation. Yeah. Hence why these flights are so perfect. You get the little two-ounce taster, you find something you like, you can get a full glass of something you can sip and enjoy. Yeah, meads are like my favorite kind of drink to go for. And so, as soon as I was told about coming here, I was like, oh, I, I gotta do a little stuff for a video. And oh, sure. And try some of your guys' mead here and come home with one. Well, we do aim to please, and, you know, we definitely ride that Viking angle hard, as you oh, can tell, from I, I uh, like horns, it. spears, raptors, etc. Yeah, I, I like I the look of it. I got a bunch of the board games over there, too, which we have both, like, modern games, as well as a couple of really old ones. We've got, uh, Tiny Toffel, Neck Toffel. That's a weird flavor. The pronunciation is awful. The shirts? It depends on the shirts, but most of those are about the same. $20 on the shirts, and we've only got 
That's what I'll be taking home. I like the spice well, I mean, sauce. Uh, I'll probably most likely go back with the uh, with the number two up there. In the Simon's journey. Yeah, but I would say this one and the um the number two you finished it right because I didn't taste that one. Oh you didn't? No. <laughs> that one that one is my favorite right there, number two. Okay, I gotta leave my drafts of all this stuff. I'm just I wanna taste the number two because I don't know. Whatever it is, you know, I got the Mateo got the Can I get a taster of the number two? Before I drink it all. Oh wow, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm getting a growl over that one. If I want some, I'll just come to your house. No, <laughs> go away. I'd go for the number two. Spices Isles. This one's really good. Show all the people that shirt. It's not a shirt. I'm thinking of getting one of their hats. Because uh, one of the things I've been wanting to do is just collect hats from every uh, brewery I go to. So that's what I plan to do. Oh, they give you one of the coats of things. Oh, it's a sticker. I thought it was a coaster. No, it's a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> if I had one, one, two, 
What's it called, man? It's called the Wild Fest. The Wild Fest? It's not that strong, but it's delicious. Oh, so this is one of their um, their ciders. It's not that strong. Here, go ahead. Go ahead and be the the the, the one in charge of the camera for a moment. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Oh, I gotta get a growler of this too, then. Oh, let me try that now. Oh, man, that's amazing. I'm gonna try that now, too. He's like, I want gum, I want gum. <laughs> no. Oh, that's my good. God. That's good, huh? It's the Wild mm -hmm. Fest? Yeah, the Wild Fest. Oh, dude, I didn't get a growler. Dude, that is really good. I didn't really good. Need a growler of fucking cider. Hey, $14? Delicious. Yeah. Are we gonna get a growler, baby? Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Mm. Not very alcoholic, but it's tasty. Yeah, I mean, I could give my dad some of that since he can't drink much alcohol anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's not that strong. Mm. I do a lot of that. Yay, baby! <laughs> you know, I, I like to look at this place. Uh, me too. Want me to cut it? Uh, you push the button on the back. Hey guys, Ninja Dog here. Um, I forgot to do an ending to my vlog, and so I thought I would close out this video by telling you guys a little bit more about my experience of the Twisted uh, Horn Mead and Cider. Uh, brewery and so I, I guess my final thoughts of my visit at the Twisted Horn it was an amazing experience they had a awesome like Viking Nordic look to it like uh, it was very uh, it was very it was very nice like it was it was it had just the right atmosphere they were very very uh, they had very good customer service and um yeah, like everything I drank there, I had no complaints. Everything tastes tastes like really good. Like they they make some good mead and stuff there. So and they had like t-shirts, hats, and beanies and whatnot. And I wanted to get a beanie, but they were out that day and they were getting more the next day. So I plan to go back there, guys. And if you want to see another video of me being there, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, also, if you guys want to check out their website, they kind of show what drinks they have on tap, and if you guys are ever in the California, San Diego area, uh, you can look them up, and, uh, who knows, we may cross paths one day there, if you decide to ever go there, but, um, so, they have on tap here. And there'd be a, a visual just right now showing up on the screen with you guys. Um, so what they have on tap currently up to date, they update every day on their website, it seems like, which is a plus. That's a really smart, um, it's a smart way to, what is it, like, um, it's a smart way to keep your patrons of uh, your establishment coming because they know and, and new people that are coming it, it's really good so they have some wooden walls barrel aged mead and I did not I, I did try that one that one was really good so Sicer is aged in a brandy barrel flavor of reminiscent of reminiscent of an apple Brandy with prominent tennis and try dry character. See, I'm not someone that knows anything about making those kind of drinks, but if you guys know anything like that, then this is a little bit of some knowledge for you. But 
I won't read the little things because I'll be having it up on screen for you guys while I'm blabbing away about it. But uh, Z uh, Simon's Journey, I actually bought one of their growlers of that. And what a growler is, is basically, um, it's like their own bottled drink. And it's like a 32 ounce or something like that. And um, it, it, it's it's really worth the price. If you want a good drink, like, you don't need to drink a lot of it. Like, you can have, like, uh, this is for example size, guys. But, like, my, my mug here, like, maybe... Depending on, you know, of course, your uh, tolerance level of drinking. But if you had a mug like this, and say for me, a mug like this and maybe half would it would do you solid. So it's not it's not too bad. It, it like uh, it, it's just all in your tolerance level, I guess, on how well you can handle the alcohol. But it is delicious I'm uh, I'm just saying that was my favorite the Simon's Journey out of the Meads mmm oh I plan to go back and get some more if they have any uh, when I go back and then the old Toby was a, another good mead that I enjoyed having and then so we have here their number four which was the blue cloak and I think it was uh yeah, it was, it was like a blueberry taste, like it says here. And they also have a blend of orange blossom and honey. And uh, honey, that I found out, is in every single mead. And I, I, I personally didn't know that. I, I learned a little knowledge here and there. But uh, I think you guys uh, will hear some of that from uh, the guy that was uh, helping us out. Like, he was giving us the drinks and whatnot and telling us a little bit about them. And... Um, so, the, the guys and, 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 and ladies that work there are really good people. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed just being there. It was nice. But um, going back to the list of drinks, uh, Blood Brothers Mead. Uh, I don't remember if I tried that. Wait, no, I did try that one. That one, that one was a really good one. It tastes like it, it, it actually tastes like cranberry juice. But, I mean, of course, it doesn't, like, straight up taste like cranberry juice, but it slightly did. Uh, Shadow Legion Mead. Uh, yeah, it was it was a very... Now, no, when you think of dry, it's not like, oh, God, this is dry and it, it whatever. It, it's just a term that you use for a drink, and you can tell when it's dry. It has, like, that... So, when you drink water, you get that, that, that sense of moisture and... Not not hydration or anything, but it's uh, it's hard to explain. Like ginger ale, like when you uh, like Canada Dry or something like that, it has that kind of like dry feel to it, like that kind of drink. Except you know, an alcohol firm, but that one was really good. I liked that one. And so we also have the Serious Mead Reserve was another one I enjoyed. Um, it was, it, it had that, I think, I think it was the one, you get, you guys will probably know when I was tasting every single one I was on camera with, but all of them, they were, they were good. Like I, I can literally, if I go back, uh, sometime soon and do another video, I can, I can rate for you guys if you want, um, each level of, um. Uh, which one tastes better, you know, as in a, just a, a level of, you know, flavors and whatnot, I guess. But, uh, moving on, uh, Toby's Tail was another good one that I enjoyed. Uh, it's, now this one's a semi-dry mead, and it, it, it was, it was flavorful, I liked it, like, I would say maybe, like, their Toby ones that they have are pretty good, but, uh, now, we're going on to the ciders. The only cider that I tried, because um, we were getting to a point where we were going to be uh, headed out. So, next time, I'm going to be trying probably all their ciders next time to see how those taste. But, uh, so we have here, though, uh, I Iden's Treasure, I want to say. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But um, I, I can't really critique or say anything about it, because I didn't try it. But I'll say 
just from everything else that I've drank, that that was really good then. Well, I can't say really good either, but I would say it would have to be good. And then Scarlet Rain, another one. You know, I didn't get to try all the ciders, only one. Pillage and Spice. It's another one I didn't try. Um, maybe I did. I don't know. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know if I did. Because uh, I start forgetting, like, everything that we had listed. Probably looking back at the video while I'm editing. I'll probably see it, but. Uh, Lofo, It, Cider, Reserve, Hidden Stones. Okay, Wild Fest was the one I tried. Wild Fest, I even got a, a growler of that one too. And oh boy, that tasted real, real good. If you guys want to see, uh, of course, before it's all gone, <laughs> if you want to see any, uh, me actually drinking some of these or tasting them for you guys and telling you a little bit more of the flavors. I can do that. It'll be a short video, but I can do that. Um, and so we have Massacre. Actually, I did try the Massacre one. That one was real good. So I did try two ciders, and of course I went with the uh, Wild Fest. But we also have Raven's Claw. That was... I don't know. I did not try that. Oh wait, I did try that one. Did I? I don't think so. I think this might be a new one they added to their menu within the, the past couple days. Because I'm currently doing this like two days after <laughs> the recording. So that's that's on me, guys. I've been working on other things like the podcast and trying to get some videos done for you guys to put out this week. And so, um, yeah, so that's pretty much my thoughts. And the little bits that I had to tell you about their uh, menu. So, in the description, guys, there will be a link. And um, it'll be of their website. And if you follow me on Twitter, um, I'll be doing a hashtag of their... Uh, that they provided for me. <laughs> from uh, me telling them that I make videos and whatnot. And so I... I said I'll be making a video of it, and uh, then I'll be uh, accordingly, properly linking stuff about them and uh, giving them a hashtag and, and saying what there is on there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you guys are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, which I will not be putting up on screen. You guys should know what that looks like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.